Hey everybody, Rick here. And uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and get all the formalities out of the way up front. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. That way you continue to get more videos. And uh, be sure and hit that like button for me and help support me and my channel. I appreciate it. And uh, today's video is going to be very, very short and to the point. I want to talk about a movie series that I grew up with that's very near and dear to me. I want to talk to you about the current state of Star Wars and the Star Wars franchise. In particular, I want to talk about a lot of the negativity from fans or in some cases so-called fans, uh, not necessarily the true hardcore fans, but a lot of people that want to create some backlash and some division. And I want to talk about that real quick because there's a certain way that I see it, and I'm hoping that a lot of others see it that same way. Now, there's been a lot of negativity throughout the entire franchise. Uh, there was a little with the original trilogy. Then there was some with the prequels. But what really disturbs me is what's come about with the sequel trilogy. Now, I know that there's a large degree of backlash that has happened uh, since The Force Awakens. Uh, a lot of people thought, oh, it's just a carbon copy of A New Hope. And there are a lot of beats, but that was planned and predetermined by J.J. Abrams. And it sort of actually helped spur the movie along and recreate a lot of that nostalgia that we hadn't had for a while because we hadn't had a Star Wars movie for a while. Now, The Last Jedi is a completely different kind of thing. A lot of people said this movie was too different. It didn't go the right way. It didn't go the way it was supposed to go. And that's kind of where I'm going with this. Let me say first and foremost, Star Wars is for everybody. You, me, and everybody in between. It's for everybody. Does that mean that everybody's going to like it? No. Does that mean that you have to like everything that happens in every movie? No. That's impossible. You can't like everything about every movie. And you're not really supposed to. Movies are just like any other art form. It's very subjective and you could line up 10 different people or 100 different people and have them look at the same piece of art, same movie, listen to the same album. And not everyone is going to like everything about all those series. You can line up a hundred different people to watch these films. And you can line them up to listen to a series of albums from your favorite artist. Or look at any piece of art. And you're going to have a hundred different reactions. Not everybody is going to like everything about any form of art. Now, believe me, I didn't even like everything about all the movies. But for people to say, that's not my Star Wars, or that didn't go the way I wanted it to go, you're totally wrong. And here's why. The only way that it can go the exact way you want it is if you had made it yourself. Now keep in mind, we're not Disney. We're not the creators that are doing this current trilogy. We're not George Lucas. If anybody has any right to say this isn't right, that's George. But Mr. Lucas has sold the company to Disney. They're going in a certain direction. Are we okay with everything that they're doing? Of course not. I don't think anybody is. But just like any movie, you either like it or you don't. And even if you like it, there are certain things that you would probably change if you could. I would. And I would say to the vast majority of us out there, go into it for the sheer enjoyment of the movie. Don't be so critical. Heck, if you wanted to do it a certain way or have something a certain way, 
write your own characters, make your own movie. I love to make movies. I love to create characters. I love to write. As a matter of fact, me and another collaborator are contemplating doing our own Star Wars fan film. Nothing wrong with that. That way, you can get some beats down that you think should go the way it should go and let others judge it for what it stands on. So, going through all this, venting here, talking with you guys, I just want to ask you to do one thing as we get set for The Rise of Skywalker. First and foremost, go see the movie. Don't worry about what this person says, don't worry about that person says, whether they say it's the worst thing in the world, whether they say it's the best thing in the world. If you're a Star Wars fan, go see The Rise of Skywalker. Be your own judge. Whatever happens in the movie, remember, we didn't write it, we didn't direct it. Don't go into it with any preconceived notions. Don't go into it thinking, this should go exactly this way. Don't do that. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people that will spoil it for you. Just go into it for your own personal satisfaction. Now, if you don't like Star Wars, or you don't like the current Star Wars movie after you've seen it, that's fine. Again, people have a right to like what they like and not like what they don't like. But don't spread maliciousness. Don't be one of those people that say, it's not my Star Wars. It isn't your Star Wars. It never has been. It's George Lucas's Star Wars. We're the fans. And as fans, we have to be subjective and we have to go into it wanting to be entertained first and foremost. I want to be entertained when I see any movie. And then I'll go from there after that. Now in closing, after you watch The Rise of Skywalker and after you've made your determinations whether you like it or you don't like it, leave me a comment in here Tell me what you think. Tell me what you would change. Tell me what you like as well as what you don't like. But what I don't want is a lot of people saying, oh, this is Disney. This is their agenda. They've ruined my Star Wars. None of that. Keep, keep the harshness to yourself. For those people that are just dead set on, I don't want to see another Star Wars movie again. I'll never care about this. That's, that's totally fine. That's up to you. If you want to be like that, go home, sit in a dark corner, and have a nice, tall, cool glass of shut the fuck up. Let the rest of us enjoy it for what it is, a film series that takes us out of everyday life for a couple hours and gives us entertainment. And at the end of the day, that's all we want is entertainment. Okay, everybody. Thanks for listening to me and watching me vent for a few minutes. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much. I, I hope that The Rise of Skywalker is very enjoyable. And I hope that it turns the franchise back around and uh, gets us all loving Star Wars again. Thank you again. I'll see you soon.